good afternoon and welcome back to uh, Coastal Crazy Amusement Park Fun Fair vlog here on Coastal Crazy YouTube channel. Yes, we're here in uh, Canvey Island, a place that I've only ever been to a couple of times. I think the last time we came here, it was out of season, so everything was closed here. Now, if you did watch the Poulton's Park vlog and probably many other vlogs, you will know that I haven't got many coasters left to ride in the UK, um, well, especially in, in England anyway. I will have to go and check my me, um, like me coaster count app and just to remind myself how many coasters I need to get. So we've come to Canvey Island. Yes, it's only a go gator, but it's a, it's a permanent coaster and I need to get on it. They do also have a caterpillar here as well, which used to be at, um, what was it? Flamingo Land Park, uh, Fl or Flamingo Park in, in Hastings. Now the confusion is, especially when we came last time, there's actually two amusement parks here. You've got Fantasy Island, not in Ingo Mills, Fantasy Island one side, and then you've got, uh, oh no, it's the same thing, yeah, Fantasy Island there, and then Fantasy Island amusements here. So it might be the same thing. I think it sort of goes round in a in a circle. Other than that, uh, we might get like some fish and chips or just see what happens really, to be honest. But yeah, there's some rides here, and, We've never been, so well not to go and have a look around and see what's here. So yeah, just a nice little short vlog. But you like the little ones, and you like to see Tilly as well. So it's a well, it's a day out, isn't it? You know, we've got, again, we've got nothing planned. We're going to Florida in two weeks' time. Yeah, I am. <laughs> um, Martin and Charlotte have actually gone over to Northern Ireland. Uh, they're meeting up with Bruno and Anita, so they're doing a Northern Ireland cred run. Uh, I didn't plan on going because I don't really want to turn down Saturday works if I've got it at the moment. Obviously, I'm not working today. Um, so I thought, well, what do we do? So we'll come here and check it out. It's only a small sort of uh, family park. There's quite a few little kids rides and you've got like the little bumper boats just here behind me. Um, I can't see any of the coasters, that's what I'm saying. I think it's on the other side because it does say Leisure Island over there. So yeah, but like I said, you have got some classic vintage children's rides there. Look at the little uh, Superman flyers there. Eh? I don't know. I think you got to walk around. That's what I'm saying. I think you go through. Like I'm saying, I think there's two parks here. Yeah, look at these. These are old school. Man, remember these? I think Butlins used to have one of these. Even Morecambe, I think, used to have one. And you move like the, the bar, and it goes up and down. So yeah, it's more like your, your children's rides in here. You got one of the uh, the jumping beans. I think that's the one that used to be at Poulton's Park. Uh, the jumping bean. So yeah, I've, I think I've been on that one. I'm pretty sure that's the one that was at Poulton's Park, which is really good. Trampolines, like a little bug ride thing there, go-karts and as you can see, we're walking out of this bit already. So yeah, other than like the uh, the little drop tower there's not much for us to go in in this section uh, we'll have a look on the are you joking oh well we've just walked straight through that one. Oh, this one's no dogs allowed ah oh, right well i'll have to run in and get the credit are you going on to the beach then oh she needs the loo i need the loo as well i'll, I'll go and ask the guy he just yeah he just say no dogs on here yeah so this is the other bit this is the leisure island fun park it's it's odd oh they've got two parks next to each other children's play area yeah no dogs allowed apparently let's go and have a look right i'm actually in the park yeah the guy i'll get him on the camera but yeah there's i don't know if it's security he's into scooters as well we a uh, nice young man here behind me says uh, we could bring tilly in anyway but dogs if you are coming if it's busy he says if it's busy yeah you can't bring your dogs but yeah thank you very okay. much for that yeah yeah Cheers, it's either that or Lisa has to stand outside and wait. He's just told me, <laughs> he says, yeah, we've got two coasters here, but the uh, the small one's not working at the moment. Uh, the gearbox is gone, which is the coaster, and I can see it's over there. There's actually quite a big park, this, to be honest. Again, it's got some um, like, um, like old traditional rides. You've got your food stands just here as well. I think we both need the toilet, so I'm going to have to turn you off for a second while she nips in I'll, I'll hold Tilly but yeah there's a 
a caterpillar coaster here and a go gate unfortunately the one that i needed to get the cred is closed but it looks like they've made it a lot bigger because the caterpillar that's here now is like way over there and you can see the peri perimeter so it looks like they've made it bigger and this was like the original park and then the one next door opened up at a later date but um yeah toilet time i'll see you in a minute all right so just both into the toilets which are in that corner over there and they're actually portaloos like you would find anywhere but i tell you what they're the cleanest portaloos i've ever been in because they've actually plumbed them out with proper toilets and a sink and hot hot and cold running water it's like yeah they're, they're, there's a guy stood there actually going in and cleaning them it just reminds me of a, a european park so uh yeah let's see what they've got yeah like i said it's it's old sort of traditional old classic rides you got like a paratrooper at the end like the bugs things that go up and down these seals here another set of like old classic paratroopers i mean these are really old they're like 1970s 80s rides little pirate ship so yeah there's not much adults can go on it is literally just for kids is an old like plane ride there there's another little drop tower that is purely for kids Where's the guy? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's broken. Oh, gutted. Absolutely gutted. I don't even know if I could fit on it anyway. I don't know where it's from. According to RCDB, it's, this is the only place it's been to. There's no other way of saying where it's been. But yeah, uh, yeah, it's not working. But I don't even think I'd fit on it anyway. If that's the case, I will have to remove it from uh, coast to coaster because it will stay on coast to coaster until I've ridden it and then obviously when you click to say you've been on it then it sort of turns from red to blue but yeah it, but by the time by the looks of it, it looks like one that I might not be able to go on it anyway but they do have the caterpillar over there which was at uh, Flamingo Park in Hastings so while we're here I might as well get a token for the caterpillar and go on that one ride because there's not much else I can go on but like I said, when we got in here, it looks like they've extended this part because there's a gate and it's all gated off or fenced off, should I say. And then they've got like this Harris fencing around the edge. It goes around here. There's a couple more kids rides down there as well. But uh, yeah, I don't know where it's from. It, it does look really old. It's a start, sort of traditional size go gator. So like I said, I don't know if I'd be able to go on it anyway, even if it was open, but yeah, I'll get a token, I'll, I'll get on the caterpillar, and then we'll make a move, take Tilly onto the beach, I think. But yeah, it's all right here, I suppose. I mean, there's two parks next to each other, and there's a lot of old traditional rides. I'll go over and um, see what the token prices are like. Right, so I'm back sort of in the main part of the park, and yeah, you got a couple of like, kiddies sit on rides just here. You've got these little diggers you can go on as well all the diggers but yeah this is pretty uh, unique king kong comes to canvey island peter jackson's king kong yeah i don't know if it's actually working but yeah there's a button there yeah so um yeah it's a really old place this um tokens are one pound each six tokens for a fiver 14 tokens for 10 family bag of tokens 35 tokens for 20 quid i don't know how much the um how much the caterpillar is i'll go and have a look but yeah this is the place i think this has been here a long time and this is the exit so like i said yeah the other part fantasy island at one end and then you got this bit here at the other end with the with the park like i said the uh they've extended it out a bit because it wasn't like that last time we came so yeah you can see where the fence is and the few rides that they put in there the two coasters are obviously new um yeah i think there was a coaster here before but i can't remember where uh, i think it was on the other side of the park could be wrong it might be the same go gator that they've moved over but yeah i'll get myself a a token but yeah the rules are here no smoking and no dogs uh, except guide dogs or if it's very quiet and they allow little dogs in as well. 
Yeah. Right, so I've just got me me uh, two tokens. Yeah, it's two tokens for the ride. Uh, cost me two pound. Um, yeah, I, I, I did actually just get stopped by a member of the public asking why I'm filming, uh, and I can show you I'm not filming kids. But yeah, she was very uh, abrupt with me asking why I'm here filming. I said I'm here filming the rides for my YouTube channel. Uh, but yeah, it does happen now and again, but you've got to understand that people do, you know, want to know why we're walking around with a camera. But uh, yeah, this is what we're going on, the Wacky Worm. Like I said, I've already been on it before, uh, but we'll give it a go, I might as well. I'm here, i spent a bit of money, I'm promoting the park for them, and that's what it's all about, yeah, so, yeah. I know I have seen some comments recently, God, that's loud. I have seen some comments recently, oh Andy only just goes to parks and rides kiddie coasters. I'm a coaster enthusiast. I've been on nearly 600 coasters and I've nearly ridden every coaster in the UK. So yeah, that's, that's what it is. I'll go on the next one mate, I'll get a bit of footage. So yeah, going on the Caterpillar next. Uh, I wonder how many laps you get on this. Yeah, I've actually got a fan of the channel behind me. Do you want to say hello? Do you want to be on it? I'll be on it and they'll be on it. Yeah, all right, yeah. yeah. How are you, babe? How are you? I'm good. You sure you ride? <laughs> yeah. Hey. And the, uh, I, think, I think that's the owner of the park here, isn't it? Operating the ride. Yeah. He, uh, he watches the channel as well, so uh, yeah, I'll have to watch what I'm saying here. Because <laughs> he's up there, there. <laughs> The fans of the channel! <laughs> yeah. Woo! Hey! <laughs> We're on the telly now! <laughs> yeah, yeah! Yeah! Hey! Three lap, three lap special! Right, here we go on the cat. What's it called? This one? Wacky worm. Wacky worm, wacky worm. Well, more like caterpillar. <laughs> wacky worm if you're in America, but yeah, he's a fan of the channel, he's the owner. <laughs> Give us a wave. <laughs> there. So, yeah, like I said, this is the one from. Um, Flamingo Park in Hastings. Look at the view. And he just told me they're making this whole park bigger. They said he bought all this land up to up to the fence there or up to the side and up to the hedge where there's always a little park then with a bug in the middle. Yeah, he blew the gearbox on it four days ago. I'm good. <laughs> he wouldn't let me on it as well. Apparently they do allow adults to ride the, the go gear. Here we go. <laughs> There we go. Woo! Ah, my knee, my knee. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah! Oh! <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it's an old one, this one. I mean, Flamingo Park had it for years as well. So, you know. That's what we keep saying to you, not just me, but other enthusiasts and vloggers as well. When you see these little parks and they've got coasters and you collect your cred, you've got to get on them because you don't know if they've got to sell them and go somewhere else. So, you know, it's a thing with uh, Lightwater Valley. Apparently they're not reopening the Ultimate, which is really sad. But there's so many people that have never been on it, won't get the chance to ride it now. Here we go, here we go. Watch the knees. No, at least the lap bar goes down on this one. And there's a seatbelt, but yeah, my knee's touching. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a nice little park, really. It's all right for the kids, you know, it's quite a cheap day out for them. All these classic rides. <laughs> hey, <laughs> my new mates. <laughs> They're here, look. <laughs> new subscribers here we go arms up here we go
the wacky worm or caterpillar or big apple or whatever you want to call it but yeah that was a good little ride that uh, i said i've already been on this one before and it's nice to actually meet the owner of the park i think it's called scott um and yeah it was a good ride it, it did actually say that he wasn't going to charge me when i walked off said it's too late i've already paid for it <laughs> I, I come here to support the place anyway and you know even if i've spent a couple of quid it's a couple of quid in their pocket at the end of the day but yeah it's not a bad little place um the guy scott um it did say like they've, they're actually extending the whole place so next year there should be some more rides in here and uh, making it a lot bigger he said they've got some big plans for the coast you can see like the front there's no there's nothing on the front of it there he said he's got to repaint it all because you can see all the tracks all like rusted but that's the joys of having a, a coaster like that sat at um, flamingo park in hastings for god knows how long any coaster near the sea if it's not looked after the track will just go all rusty but yeah good little coaster I quite well you know i like those but yeah there's not much else i can actually film it here without getting told off by somebody for you know <laughs> but never mind it, it does happen but yeah I'll, I'll be back later to you know get on the go gator he said he'd let us get on it anyway but yeah that's basically it i love how they put these paths in here but uh, yeah, there's, like I said, there's not much else I can film in there. And I'm not probably got to go on anything on the other side. But uh, it's, yeah, nice little park. We'll probably have a little walk down the promenade now, show you what else is here. But uh, yeah, it's all right here. Get yourselves down here. Right, so there you go. That was the Leisure Island Fun Park. Yeah, we'll probably, well, I'm going to have to, aren't I? <laughs> to get that cred. We also got the Fantasy Island Adventure Park right next door that's actually got the same sign as um oh, islands of adventure in orlando with you know like with the compass at the back uh so yeah there's a few rides in there i probably could have done the uh, the jumping bean uh which is actually facing the wrong way around the, the face of the top's facing outwards rather than inwards but uh, never mind yeah there's actually a car park down here we parked on the other side uh two pound for two hours so yeah i mean that place there it's like they've ex well, built it on the car park extended the car park out but yeah it'll be interesting to see the future we'll come back again no doubt probably next year now and see what happens with the place there's like a nice garden in the middle i did say when i was on the coast it's got like a wasp or something in the middle of it but uh yeah it's all right it's just it's just very odd when you've always got two parks next to each other because i know i walked through that one didn't go on anything and went into leisure island so i don't really know what to call the vlog you, you'll see it once obviously it's gone all probably an afternoon in canby island or something it'll show you what's here really isn't it uh but yeah on the uh where's that sandy bit oh it's just down there <laughs> i think the tides is coming a bit more because there's no beach Oh, it's a couple of towns. Oh, yeah, there's that job. There's a job. There's um, something island it's called. Look at the three of our tower cranes just over there. I don't know if I'm pointing to the. Huh? Is it the Isle of Dogs? No, not Isle of Dogs. Yeah, Isle of something, anyway. It's over there. One of them's up at like 81 meters. Is it Isle of Dogs? And then um, the South End's not that far from here as well. But yeah, I thought I'd be able to see the, uh, the cranes from here. Oh, nice. it's lovely that. There's just not much of a, 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 a pee. You can, yeah, you can't take dogs on it anyway. It's, yeah, you got to clean up after yourself, which is understandable. But she's not actually been in the sea yet, or the water, or anything. <laughs> uh, where? Where? Oh, look, no, yeah, look, look, look. Yeah, when we went to Lot Loman, she went in the water, in water. Uh, yeah, it's like sand. Is it sand here? That's not sand, is it? That's like old. That's old tarmac. Though. They've just like they've dumped it on there just to fill it all up. Yeah, there's benches down the side. Yeah, it's quite a nice um, afternoon, to be honest. Although when we was in the car get driving, it was saying 27 degrees. <laughs> It's 27! Like what? <laughs> Come on, it's not 20. And then we got out of the car, I was like, oof. 
very humid but um, I think that's probably about it for this vlog if I'm honest we might walk down obviously to where the where we park the car get something to eat see if she wants to go in the um, the arcades for a bit and then might drive up to Clacton since we're in the area I, I don't really know but it's more of just a day out really you know something to do I suppose um, come somewhere different I don't I haven't filmed a vlog from from Canvey Island before so I mean that like this water must get really high up because you've got the floodgates just here and the same on the other side over there but yeah I can't believe it yeah it's <laughs> three of our tower cranes it's some sort of gas terminal and a lot of the drivers have said that they don't want to go there because you can't have your mobile phone on you up the crane you've got to leave it in a locker and it's a bit like one of them sort of jobs and like I said one of the cranes is up 81 meters not for me, <laughs> not for me. It's too far from where I live anyway. Well, yeah, that's just, just over there. Yeah, it's all right around here. Let's go back up here now. Right, so we found somewhere to see. It's literally just across from where the amusement are, where, where the amusement parks are. Uh, it's called Jimmy Max. I don't know if you can see the sign. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. Got myself a uh, pint of course because it's my favourite beer. We just ordered some food. I've gone for the uh, barbecue pulled pork and um, rack of ribs. Tilly's got a, a cup of water. <laughs> She's down here. <laughs> so you can see her. Come on, say hello. She's here. She's got a cup of water. <laughs> I have to get her some uh, food. I don't know. What do you want? Chicken. She's weird. She's gone off like pork sausages. We used to get. Her. If we went to a chip and we'd get her a sausage, and she's gone off them, haven't you? Yeah. No oh, well. <laughs> right. I'll have my food. I'll let you know what it's like in a bit. Yeah. So our food at Jimmy Max just behind me there it was very nice yeah the uh, pulled pork burger didn't right realize it actually had three onion rings in it as well a burger a beef burger patty and and then like uh, a bit of coleslaw or the bottom of it on a, in a brioche bun with chips it was very nice and uh, yeah we gave tilly some food i actually went while i was waiting for the food i actually went to best one over there and got her a pack of ham so she woofed all that and then she ended up having some of our burger and a bit of her uh, ribs that she had and yeah it was all right it was, it was not bad food at all i might actually just go to the um the slot is for a bit i'm not too sure what time the uh, car park runs out it was like a two hour uh visit for the car park uh, but yeah i think i might finish the vlog now um but yeah there is other things to do here in canvey island there's a bit of a walk at the top here there's no beach or anything like that. Um, we might actually end up walking a bit up there. But like I said, the uh, car park runs out, so I might have to get another uh, another hour for the car. Um, and uh, in fact, I might do that. I might get another hour for the car, stick it on, and she can go in the arcades for a bit, and then we'll have a little walk up of the, uh, the promenade. But uh, yeah, this, it's all right here. It's very clammy though. It's very like humid um, because obviously it rained not that long ago and now the sun's come out it's uh yeah it's pretty humid but yeah it's nice here in canvey island right yeah we're actually going now i think we might drive up the coast a bit and see what else there is i mean you've got like clacton pier and well just clacton clacton on sea a bit further up the coast uh, i don't think i'll do a vlog there because i don't think dogs are allowed on the pier itself but we might have a little walk up there and see what it's like um but yeah that's pretty much it for uh for uh, Canvey Island, like I said, you've got the two amusement parks, you've got a couple of arcades here behind me. Uh, the park is not too bad, it's it's like a pound an hour basically. And uh, yeah, there's this car park here, and the one that's a bit further down over on the other side as well. But uh, yeah, that's it really, there's not much of a beach to walk down. Not like you could take your dogs on there anyway, because it's the summer season. But uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this very small vlog here from Canvey Island, showing you the attractions and what's here if you want a day out just remember the uh, closing seasons coming up pretty soon so then two amusement parks will be closed but just to uh, check their opening times online and stuff I, I don't actually know what they are at the moment and, until i check myself but i'll put the links in the description if you want to find out but uh, there yeah there you go another 
day out, afternoon out, in somewhere completely random. <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell for next time I upload another video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.